Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be providing a very easy explanation of what an AMP reactive load box is. In this case, I'm using the two, the two nodes torpedo capture, and this is the 8 ohm version. Um, I've watched a lot of videos and nobody seems to explain these things properly and everybody just gets into the jargon uh, just assuming that we all know what the terminology is. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So this is going to be like a three-part video. This is part one video, I'm just going to be explaining about why you need this and why you need to use this with your tube amplifier or any other kind of an amplifier head. Um, in the second video, I'm going to be demonstrating the speaker sim, i.e. the inbuilt virtual guitar amplifier cabinet uh, because nobody really talks about that everybody just jumps straight into the computer software and they're assuming like everybody has that software available um, and the third part of the video is going to be using the attenuator function on this i.e. removing at least about 20 decibels uh, of your tube amplifier when you're playing in an apartment situation or in a situation where you don't really want your amplifier to be too loud. All right, without further ado, let's get into the part one, the introduction. So a tube amplifier needs to be connected, or should I say any kind of an amplifier head needs to be connected to a speaker cabinet. With the speaker cabinet, it absorbs all the load um, and make sure that you don't blow up your amplifier. Uh, what the two nodes torpedo captor does, it protects your amplifier head, whether it's a tube head or a solid state head. It makes sure that your tube amp, amp head doesn't blow up. Um, so you need this if you don't want to use a cabinet. And that's a good segue why you don't want to use uh, an amplifier cabinet. Well, there are multiple reasons. One, the amplifier cabinet is too large. Two, it makes a lo lot of noise. Um, and what's the third purpose? Well, third purpose is you don't have enough space, like in my case. Um, so what I really want to use are my two powered speakers, which are connected to my computer. But in this case, you don't even need a computer. As long as you have powered speakers, that's enough. You, all you need is your amp, uh, the two nodes, torpedo captor, and the powered speakers. And mind you, the sound only comes from one of the speakers. Uh, the second thing is um, the attenuation part. Uh, a lot of the tube amplifiers, particularly the tube amplifiers, are so loud that you need to be able to play the sound, uh, that you need to be able to turn up the volume at a sweet spot, and that sweet spot is above nine o'clock. It's around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. But the problem is when you do that, it's just so very loud. And the only way you can tame it down is either using an attenuator, which will be coming up in my other video. I will be uh, reducing at least 20 decibels. Or you can actually connect to those powered speakers and the reason why I have this device is because I want to be able to sit over here, connect any of my amplifier heads, and control the volume on my powered speakers. In this way, no matter if it's daytime or nighttime, I can still play my guitar at a decent volume where the sound is not fizzy. It just doesn't sound terrible. It's going to sound great. And obviously, I've played with it and I know what it sounds like, and, it, and I can assure you it sounds great. Uh, the third part is the speaker sim. Now, obviously this thing does not have a speaker cabinet. Well, we're not using a speaker cabinet, but we're using this in place of the speaker cabinet. Hence, this thing comes with a built-in speaker cabinet. The built-in speaker cabinet installed on this computer, and you don't need any kind of software to download, is actually 
the Slash's Marshall 4x12 speaker cabinet, the signature one. How great is that? I haven't heard a single person talk about it. Um, that's because nobody likes to read the manual. I've read the manual and it specifically says that the speaker cabinet installed, the built-in speaker cabinet installed on this system is the Marshall Slash's signature model. Amazing. And it sounds amazing. Um, so this thing also has 16 other virtual cabinets which you can download and use with the uh, wall of sound software. That's the software which comes with this. Uh, alternatively, you can actually connect this thing straight into your interface. And through the interface, you can have this plugin for the wall of sound go into your Logic Pro or GarageBand and you can choose at least 16 speaker cabinets. Um, but I don't really want to do that because it just it's a bit of a hassle and secondly you need um, to turn on your computer to be able to do that. Uh, I just want to be able to plug in this into this and straight into my powered speakers and start playing. Uh, the other option of using this is uh, recording purposes as well and that's where the interface, recording interface comes in handy. Uh, it could be any kind of a recording interface which allows you to connect your amplifier straight into here. So let's go on to the setup what you really need to do. Um, so the guitar goes straight into the amp. That's your normal thing. You would take a guitar lead and that gets plugged straight into the amplifier. And from the back of the amplifier, picture provided here, I've got the speaker cable running from the 8 ohm output into the input of the torpedo capture. Um, and here's the picture, this is what it looks like. And in the front, what I've got over here is I've got a balanced XLR cable, which is going straight into the back of my powered speaker. And that's the photograph, which you can see. Now, if you are not using an interface, a recording interface comes with the phantom power which can power this thing up but if you're not using that you just need a 9 volt um, DC power adapter and, and that's pretty much the same what you use for any of um, your your pedals effects pedals and for memory I think this thing only draws about 5 milliamps so it hardly draws any power but just make sure that whatever uh, DC um, adapter you're using should have more than 5 milliamps of power in it. Um, this is an XLR cable and the other end of this is just a quarter inch which goes at the back. If your powered speakers have an XLR input all you need would be like an XLR to an XLR and you're sorted. Um, Alright guys I think this provides most of the information um, for the built-in speaker cabinet, there's a switch over here for the guitar or the bass. So you can, you can actually use this for your bass amplifier as well, which is great. And mine is switched on towards the guitar side. This thing is the output level. You can actually control the volume. You can make it louder or quieter. And in this case, mine is set to about 10 o'clock because the way I shaped the volume uh, and the sound of my amplifier with this and the powered speakers, it works better for me at 10 o'clock. You can make it louder as well if you want to. My amp volume here is cranked up all the way to three o'clock. You can never do that even when you got a, a speaker cabinet plugged in in your home or in an apartment situation. Uh, but of course, in a rehearsal studio, you can do that. Um, the other thing, 
the last and the final thing that I'm going to talk about, but obviously I won't be able to demonstrate demonstrate that in my future videos. I won't be able to demonstrate that in my future videos is the Amp DI. So if you're a gigging musician, you can essentially take this and your Torpedo Captor 8 rather than carrying a huge 4x12 cabinet. And then you can hook this up straight into um, the venue's sound uh, disc, which is a great option because then all you really need is your amplifier, guitar, and this, and you're good to go because you will have full back speakers, which are going to be giving you all that sound. Uh, this is a very convenient way of transporting your gear, especially if you're a gigging musician. Um, and as I said before, that I won't be able to demonstrate that because I'm not in that situation right now where I can go to a venue and plug all my gear in. Um, another quick thing before I forget, there's a line out here. Now this line out is handy to only use when you're using the wall of sound software, which comes with this. It's a free software, which has 16 built-in cabinets. You can, this is a dry sound, which means there is no amp sim, the amp simulation, i.e. The, ca the cab simulation, sorry. Which just means that you need the wall of sound software to provide those other additional 16 cabinets to be able to get that sound out. But if you just want to use the built-in cabinet simulation, i.e. virtual cabinet, then you just plug it into this balanced XLR input here, right in front. And I think that pretty much covers all the introduction to a reactive load box and an attenuator and a speaker SIM, i.e. virtual cab, and the MTI. Um, and this is a two notes torpedo captor 8 ohm. You can also get the 16 ohm version and, um, and a 4 ohm version that all depends on what type of cabinet, uh, what type of guitar amplifier head you have. And of course, you can also use this with um, a combo cabinet, um, especially if you have a tube combo cabinet and it's too loud to play at home, you can use this to attenuate the sound. Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to like, comment and also subscribe so you can actually catch up my demonstration of this pedal, of, of, this, um, of this device uh, in my other upcoming videos. Uh, I'm going to be doing a demo of the attenuator and the speaker sim, i.e. the built-in virtual cabinet. So two more videos associated with this. This is a three-part video. Alrighty, I'll catch you guys in my other video.